Hi guys, I have thought of another way that you can use your revision guides to help you. So, this is how to use revision guides part two. Like I said in the last video, I'm sure you all have stacks and stacks of beautiful, pristine, brand new revision guides sitting like on your dining room table or maybe on your desk or maybe just still in the bag in the hallway. But we need to get them out, we need to start writing in them. Now I know it is going to be painful, I know sometimes writing in a brand new book can be really, really painful. But where I want you to start looking is the contents page. I see this page here. You will notice this is a fairly extensive contents page. There is a lot of stuff on here. Um, so this is a biology example, but this applies to basically any subject, every single revision guide that you've got. You can do this for all of them. Get your revision guide out, get your phone out and send it to the calendar app. Work out when your exams are. Now, if your school hasn't given you your exam timetable yet, that's okay, because all of this information is available on the internet. You just need to use Google and find it. I want you to work out how many weeks you have until the exams. Now, leave yourself a couple at the end. I don't want you to be like doing like fresh revision all the way up until the end, because the last few weeks for the revision, um, a revision for the exams. I want to be kind of like like proper revision, proper recapping. So maybe say take this up to like the beginning of May. So from now until the beginning of May, whenever you're watching this, whenever now is. Hopefully it's not like the last week in April. Otherwise you've got a lot of work to do. Then count the number of pages or count the number of sections and basically divide them up into into weeks. So there's like 92 pages in this book there are not 92 weeks before your exams so you might have to do like four pages a week you might have to do five or six pages a week but on here what i actually want you to do is to get your pens and start dividing off sections so i have to get up to here by like the, the second week in February. I have to get up to here by the second week in March. I have to get up to here by this week in April. It doesn't matter when your week starts, whether you want to start it on a Monday, whether you want to start it on Thursday, that's absolutely fine. Just pick a week and start dividing all of your revision guides up. Now, this is gonna work really well because it's gonna make sure that you cover everything. You don't skip any sections out. Um, and it's gonna, once you've done something, you can go and take it off and then it's gonna give you like that sense of achievement, like you are actually making progress with your revision. Um, now I know, I know you have so, so much to do. And I know some of this is gonna be easier for you than other stuff, so you do not have to go through the book in order. You can say, pick section six, First, if that's a section you know you find hardest, and if you find section one really easy, and you want to do it after section six, great. Or if you want to leave it till the end, great. Remember, this is your revision. This isn't my revision. I could advise you in different ways to help you do it, but it's still your revision, so you need to do it in the way that's going to work best for you. But get scribbling all over that contents page. Um, if you're not sure what to do with the pages that you've picked for the week, go and watch last week's video, which tells you how to use, um, or how to revise from a revision guide. This is just something I was doing for my students and thought it would be helpful for everyone else as well. So, there you go guys. How to use your revision guide, part two.